Hi you three, today in maths we're going to be looking at something called duration and duration is how long something takes and we're going to measure how long some things take. Just to remind you that this is the analog clock face, it's analog because it's circular and an analog clock face has intervals which go up in fives and they're five minute intervals. We've got a minute hand which is a really long hand, it tickles the outside and it measures how many minutes are passing by. So if that was zero, that would be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 45, 50, 55, and then 60. And it looks like we haven't moved at all, but we have, we've gone all the way around the clock face, which is um, 60 minutes. If we kept on going round and round and round, I would lose track of how many times I've been round. So this is where the hour hand comes in. The hour hand is much shorter. It doesn't tickle the outside. In fact, the hour hand talks to the numbers. So the minute hand talks to the intervals and the hour hand talks to the, the numbers. And every time the minute hand does a full clock face, does a full 60 minutes, the hour hand moves and says, ah, you've been, ah, you've been two times round now. And then the minute hand goes round again, it does another 60 minutes, it does another hour, and then the hour hand says, ah, you've been round three times now, you've been round three hours. So one whole turn of the clock is 60 minutes, and 60 minutes is the same as one hour. Okay? Right, guys. Uh, today we're going to be looking at, mm, not the hour hand, we're going to get rid of that. And I don't really need these numbers anymore because I'm just talking to the minutes. If I moved from 0, 5, 10, 15, if I moved that far round, in a way, I'd have, oops, what have I done? I'd have moved this much time. In fact, let me show you how that looks on this one here. If I can grab that one. Let's replace my minute hand for this funny fella here. Okay, so imagine, oops, come on, can do it. Ooh. If I moved five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, if I made my minute hand move 15 minutes, 15 minutes would look like that. It would look like um, a quarter of a circle. And in actual fact, 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So there's a bit of a pattern here. So that much time is 15 minutes. And I want you to imagine 15 minutes in real life. And this is you guys getting ready for break, ready? So I've said, oh, it's break time. It's time to go to break. Here we go. Uh, there's me saying it's break time. There's you putting your coats on, washing your hands, getting your snacks, having a drink, going outside, uh, maybe go to the loo, uh, having some fruit, Picking up a skipping rope, maybe having a running race, and um, playing tag, falling over, rubbing yourself better, and then oh, it's almost time to whistle blowing. Everybody stay still, and then yeah, we're in a game. So fifteen minutes is is playtime, okay? But sometimes we don't start at zero with our fifteen. We might start, for example, not at zero. We might start. Let's say you'll start there. And when we do 15 from there, we count 5, 10, 15. And it's still the same shape. It's still um, a quarter. But of course, we didn't start at zero. We started at, um, we started there. And you could start in different places, but the 15 minute shape will always be a quarter. So if we started at, uh, if we started there, 15 minutes would be 5, 10, 15. If we started, um, where should we start? Let's start there this time. Let's start there, ready? 5, 10, 15. So no matter where we start, if it's 15 minutes, it's always going to look like that. It's always going to look like a quarter of the circle. What about half an hour then? What about 30 minutes? If we made our clock minute hand move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
we've covered half an hour and half an hour is you guys um at almost at lunch time so you guys washing your hands queuing up for lunch going this going in the hall taking ages to eat and then me saying at 30 minutes right guys it's time for you to go outside because you've had long enough to eat okay so half an hour is your gobbling time but we might not start at at zero we might start let's say we start this time let's say we start at quarter past there we go we'll start at quarter past and then your half an hour looks like this 5 10 15 20 25 30 and your 30 minutes is still half the circle covered still half the hour but it looks like that now so the amount of time doesn't change it's just that we start in different places so 30 minutes is when half the clock is covered because 30 is half of 60. What would three quarters of an hour be? Oh, oh no, a quarter. What's a quarter again? Let's think about a quarter. A quarter would be that. How many minutes is that? That's um, 5, 10, 15. If that's one quarter... Let's do another quarter. Let's make the quarter there. So let's do another one. Let's um, stick another one in. Uh, which way up is it going to go? Oh, come back you. Let's twiddle it. That way, isn't it? So there's two quarters. And I need another one, don't I, to make three quarters. There we go. Let's twiddle it. So three quarters is going to... Oh, Naughty thing, come back. So three quarters is going to look like that. Literally three quarters. So how long is that? Well, if that's 15, and that's 15, 15 and 15 are 30. Oh, it's half again. It's half an hour, 30. Oh, add another 15. 15, add 15, add 15 is, is 45. So when the clock does this, when it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, when it covers three quarters, it's made 45 minutes or three quarters of an hour. Okay? All right, guys. Let's have a look at the next slide. Now for this activity here, it says use these symbols to compare the durations of time. And we've got to put these symbols in this space here. Now remember that we use the big man, small man thing, don't we? So we've got our big man and our small man. 50 minutes here and one hour here. Well, isn't one hour 60 minutes? So what's bigger, 50 or 60? 60 is bigger, so I'm going to put my big guy there and I'm going to put my small guy there. Here we go. So which way does the symbol go? Ah, oh, I remember now. The symbol goes that way, doesn't it? Because we've got our small guy to our big guy, so it's got to be, um, it's going to be that one, isn't it? Okay, so that gives you a strategy to do that. Remind yourselves, how many minutes in a quarter of an hour? How many minutes were there in one of those? Oh, not one of those, one of those. How many minutes there? And then finally, half an hour. How many minutes were there in half an hour? Well, if an hour was 60, what would half be? Right, the next slide that you've got to work through, it says write the times in order from shortest to longest. Well, remind yourself, what, what is one hour again? How many minutes in one hour? And then put the shortest amount of time there, the longest amount there, and then the one in the middle. Right, guys, uh, this next slide helps you work out the next questions. So, if I said my minute hand was showing there, and I took, oh, goodness me, let's have a look. If I said... I spent 30 minutes 
it would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. My minute hand would then be there. So if I started there and went 30 minutes all the way around, my minute hand would end there. So some questions ask you, if the minute hand starts, oops, not like that, when the minute hand starts there and goes to there, how much time has passed? Well, you simply count in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 30 minutes has passed. If I said to you, oh, this time 15 minutes are going to pass, right, we'll go there. Right, if it's 15 minutes, what does 15 minutes look like again? Um, let's grab that. Oops, come on, hurry up. Let's make a new 15 minutes this time. 15 minutes is break time. There I go. I'm leaving 5, 10, 15 minutes. So my minute hand started there. And by the time it's moved 5, 10, 15, it's ended up there. So it's moved 15 minutes. Okay, so it started there. And it did 15 minutes worth of movements. And 15 minutes looks like that. If it was going to do 45 minutes, oh my goodness, let's do 45. Let's say our minute hand starts there. So this time we're counting 45. What's that in hours and quarters? Is it 45 three quarters? So here it goes. 5, 10, 15, oh, it's a bit skewy. 15, oh, let's start again because it's gone wonky donkey. Ooh, that's better, isn't it? Let's have another go. Come on, naughty shape. Start again. We're moving 45 minutes, aren't we? Ready? Ooh. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45. That's 45. This time, let's bring this to the front. This time, if I started there and move 45 minutes, my minute hand would go like this. And it would end there. Okay? So these next questions are asking you, if the minute, oh, come on, minute hand. If the minute hand starts there and moves 45 minutes and it ends there, it's asking you how much time has passed. Right, check out these questions. It says circle the durations of time that are longer than half an hour. Well, how long is half an hour again? Isn't half an hour 30 minutes? So let's check out this fella. He starts at... Oh, he starts at 25 past, doesn't he? Let's put him there. He starts at 25 past, and then he moves 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Is 35 longer than half an hour? Well, let's check out this one here. How many minutes does he move? Let's check him out. Let's get that one. Mm -hmm. This time we'll put him there. He starts at quarter past, doesn't he? And how long does he move for? Let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20. Ah, he moves 25 minutes. Is 25 minutes longer or shorter than half an hour? Now, I know 35 minutes is longer because half an hour is 30. Huh. And three quarters of an hour. What were three quarters again? Do you remember? If one quarter was 15, two quarters were 30. So what would the three quarters be? Do you remember? Okay, so which ones of those 
are longer. Is that longer? Is that longer? Is that longer? Is that longer than half an hour? Circle them. For this next slide, it says circle all the durations of time that are shorter than half an hour. Right, let's check out this guy here. Uh, he starts there. Doesn't he? No, he doesn't. He starts there. He starts at 5 2. And he moves this way already. So let's count 5, 10, 15, 20. He moves 20 minutes. He moves 20 minutes. Is 20 minutes longer or shorter than half an hour? And this guy here, where does he start? Does he start at the 12? Or does he start at the 5? Yeah, he's got to start at the 5, hasn't he? Because they can only go, the clocks can only go that way around. So here we go. Let's start at the 5 and count how far he got round. Okay, so here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Is 35 minutes longer or shorter than half an hour? Is 25 minutes longer or shorter than half an hour? And is three quarters of an hour longer or shorter than half an hour? Circle the ones that are shorter. Right, guys. I would like you to do these ones on your own. I'm going to do this in silence to show you how the start time ends up looking like that. So how long has Ron taken? And Teddy? How long has Teddy taken? And it says, who has tidied their room in the shortest amount of time? For this next question, I'd like you to try and do this on your own. Tommy's been walking to school. He starts at 10 past 2. Draw 10 past 2 on this clock face. Tommy finishes at half past 2. Draw half past 2 on this clock face. And then can you work out how long it takes Tommy to get to school? And finally, for a challenge, I'd like some people to do that. You don't have to do that one, okay? Right guys, good luck. It is quite tricky. Love to see your work as soon as you can post it. Message me if you're finding it too hard.